Hello. Okay. I don't know if you can see me yet. So somebody start talking if you can, but we have a bunch of enclosures that I wanted to unbox really quick. So hopefully some people will come. Okay. I see it's live on my channel. I wonder, can you guys hear me? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, so I am literally, <laughs> I just got done filming another video and I know I'm not gonna get it up today like I wanted. So I thought I would just unbox and go live and see what you guys are doing. So, okay. Just like, hopefully everything's working. Okay, I see, okay. Hi everybody, I see you now. Okay, cool. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> But um, basically, I'm going to have to do some more rehousings. Thank you, George. <laughs> Hi, Vincent. Hi, Robin. Hi, Kate. Hi, Ty. Hi, Captain. Hi, Sean. <laughs> Yay. Okay. It's working. I never know with lives. I'm like not the most... Um, I see everybody has like these streaming things and everything, and I just don't understand. I don't. <laughs> Hi from Germany, hey. So yeah, we have more enclosures from tarantula cribs and I uh, I don't even know for sure what I'm gonna put in them. So I don't think I had any more of this size either. <laughs> My plushies and decor is fancy, thanks. <laughs> I try. Hi from the UK, hi. Um, hi, me and my daughter, she's three, love your videos. We're from Scotland, hi. What is up? How is my frog? Um, Magic Frog, Hypno Toad, and Trippy Toad are all doing great. Hi from the Netherlands. You love my mushroom? Thanks. I actually got it from um, Urban Outfitters. It was like a random Facebook ad for it. Bonza? Yeah, I'm going to try not to kill it. <laughs> Shout out from the Philippines. Hey. Greetings from Wh Wales. Hello. Um, South Africa, geez, Missouri. <laughs> Sorry to hear about your snake. Yeah, I'll, I, I don't even know. Like I, I'll wait to, I don't know. I'm going to do an all my pets video soon and I'll like mention that. Um, how are my old worlds doing? They're doing good. Oh, look, I love this. I just got a, um, a new pumpkin patch tarantula like a week or two ago. Um, and I put it in one of these. It looks so good in this enclosure. Like pumpkin patches are one of my favorites. So I was like, perfect. Hi from the UK, Arizona, Switzerland. You're from where um, Martin is from, bird spider CH. What do you think is your favorite species of tarantula? Oh my God, I don't know. All of them. Probably Grandma Stola Polkra most days, but it changes. Hi from Hung Hungary. Hi from Jamaica. Uh, sorry, it's kind of hard to see the chat on my phone. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I don't know if this is an arboreal one or if it's a terrestrial one. How are the jumper babies? I have, uh, okay, I have good news and I have bad news and I have just news, um, I will be filming that video soon. I was waiting for something to happen um, and something did happen, a couple things happened. So I will make a whole video um, updating on the jumpers, chai and, and everything. So if you're on Patreon though, I think you, yeah, I already told Patreon one of the good things that happened. <laughs> um, but yeah, all right. Hi from Spain, hi from UK. I'm counting how many times you say actually stop. <laughs> Don't do it. I can't stay on, actually I can't stay on long though because I need to be off by like three. It's 2.30 now, so. Hi from South Korea, hello. <laughs> how many species of spider? Um, as long as you know what you're doing, make good pets. Oh, I don't even know. Oh, okay. This, is this, I wonder if this is, yeah, this one seems thicker, I feel like, and heavier. 
than the others. I feel like this is the, the thicker one. He, he has a couple different ones. But yeah, it's terrestrial, which is good because I need terrestrial more than arboreal. I have way more terrestrials. My bonsai ended up looking like a stick. Shh, don't tell me that. Don't, don't let it hear you. Shh. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not that many here today, so um, it probably won't take too long. Did I catch the stream late? Nope, I just started, um, but I'm not staying long because I... I just finished filming a video. I filmed a reaction video, which I don't really do, and it was kind of a hot mess, but I think it was, I don't know. I don't know. You guys might like it. I have. It's one of those videos that I make, and I'm like, I really have no idea if people are going to like this one or not, but I liked making it, and so I guess that matters for something, right? Uh, yeah, I have a lot of, um, plants that I'm trying to keep alive right now for me, so let's, uh, send some good vibes their way. They're gonna need them. Another little one. There we go. Oh! It's nice. What am I gonna put in those? Actually, I know exactly what I'll put in those. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, like, a big rehousing video, probably, like, next week or the week after because I have I'm filming an unboxing this week and then I'm a, I'm filming another unboxing next week um so we have a lot of unboxings coming up one of them I don't know what I'm getting at all my friend is sending me something she's sending me it tomorrow so that means I'll unbox it on Wednesday so I'll probably have that video up like Friday or something and then the other one you guys well, I hope you'll like it. I'm super happy because um, we're getting something that is personally one of my favorite true spiders. Hi from the UK. Look forward to your video. Thank you. But yeah, just a casual Monday trying to be productive for the most part. I got to feed the puffers today. I'm trying to think of what other things I need to do today. Are you planning on getting any more tattoos of spiders? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. What is the story behind the mitten tattoo? I just like mittens, you know. Um, hello from Switzerland. Hello, there's a couple of you from Switzerland. Where's the best place to get jumping spiders from? I usually get them from Tom Patterson, but now I have like way more jumping spiders than I ever anticipated. Um, yeah, I have a lot. Another. I don't know what I'm gonna use these ones for. Actually, I like there's always a spider that needs to be rehoused, it seems like, so yeah. I need to like go through it. Cat, the quality of your videos has exploded you to the top mountain of tarantula vids over the past year or so. Seriously, very entertaining and a joy to watch. Thank you. I um tech techno technologically tech technically <laughs> I just use an iPhone. So I feel like I'm lacking in that, um, that department, but I'm really stuck in my ways. So hopefully my personality shines through. <laughs> Hi, Kat, love from Norway. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. It means a lot. Would you ever get into isopods? That's one thing I would actually like to do. And how is Igor? Igor's good. I call her Iggy because I thought she was a boy when I got her and then she ended up being a girl. So now I just call her Iggy because it seems more feminine. Not that it really matters. I don't think she minds, but I just call her Iggy more and she's good. She's had a couple like issues with her eye. I've taken her to the vet twice and they've flushed it, but like she's had issues with bedding getting stuck in it. And I don't know why I've like changed her bedding. Like she usually uses like paper bedding and I switched her to like the crinkles, but that was so loud. Like I would hear her at night running around in the crinkles. So I switched her to like half crinkles, half the paper pellets and half uh, the paper bedding. And I'm just hoping that the issue is solved. But if it gets stuck again, the vet is a pro at flushing her eyes out. I could never, but the vet does it. Like I literally will pull up to the vet and I'll, um, they'll come get her and then they'll bring her back in like five minutes, good as new. And I'm like, how do you even do that? And also Pawnee, you know, my two-year-old hamster, I like, ugh, I have been bracing myself for Pawnee to just, you know, cause she's over two years old now. Like she is old, old and she's balding and she's like slowing down a lot. And I just like keep like 
you know, preparing myself. And yesterday I dug her up and she was just fine, living her best life. She came out for snacks and I was like, oh, thank God, because I could not handle more than one problem yesterday. Um, yeah. So Pawnee is good too. And we have another. Am I missing any updates on the Muse? Nope, I still have all four. Um, I did a video rehousing them to like little mini bioactive setups and they've been doing great in that. Sorry about Ouija, sorry if I spelled that wrong. Do you plan on getting another Mexican black king snake? I talked about this on Instagram today. This morning, like I've been thinking so much and I literally need to stop. I just like overthink. But so yesterday when that happened, I literally told myself, I told a couple of friends, I was like, I'm not gonna get another Mexican black king snake. I cannot like do this again. I will not do this again. And I had like every intention of not. And then today, well, last night I cleaned out her cage and everything and I'm like, you know, I have this big empty cage. I'm like, what am I going to do with it? And I don't think I'm ready for another. So I might, I think I'm going to rehouse one of my rosy boas to it. And then um, maybe one day. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see. But it's not off the table, but it's not on the table, I guess. And then now we just have these little ones. Can you make a video showing your mini jumpers? Yes, I will be. Uh, there's some of them. Oh, it's hard to see. Hello, guys. They are, they're very teeny tiny. I can't really get, like, a good, good shot of them. But they're in there, and I have a lot of updates about those. Good afternoon from the Uni United Kingdom. <laughs> Thanks. Love your channel. I follow your Instagram too. Thank you for helping me. You're welcome. Hi from the United Kingdom. A lot of you are from the UK. What time is, let's see. Oh, okay. The time here changed. It, that's why I feel like totally off too. The time here changed. So we, we sprung ahead. We went forward um, an hour. So it is now 2.30 here. Usually I feel like we're seven hours behind, but maybe we're six hours behind. Can you do another video for Jumping Spider? Yes. How are they doing? I have so much to update you guys on. Like I said, good news, bad news, just news. There's there's a lot I need to update you guys on with the Jumping Spiders, but I just um, wanted to see how everything unfolded. I don't ever like to say something too soon. Hello from Austria, hello. It's 8.35 in the evening there, so whatever math that is. 735 in the UK. Okay, now you're telling me two different things. <laughs> um hi. Half seven in Scotland. What does that mean? 730? How's the trapdoor spider? Which one? Because the Oreo butt one, I have no idea. I put a superworm in there and the superworm turned into a beetle and then the beetle disappeared. Um so I don't, I don't know. I think it ate the beetle. So I think it's alive. I don't know. But yeah. Oh my gosh. We have all these little enclosures now. You know what these will be perfect for? How is Peaches? She's good. These will be perfect for um, when my jumping spider babies get bigger. Because, I mean, they're still too small now. But when they get bigger. I like how I'm allergic to spiders, but I like watching your vids. Thank you. Hi from Slow. Oh, I can't. I'm my Americanness is coming out. I can't say that. Slovenia. You okay? Yeah, I am living the dream. No, <laughs> I'm. Uh, I'm okay. More like when you're doing more class. When are you doing more class with Peko again? Peko. Um, I don't know. He's been crazy busy with his new place. Do you like peacock spiders? Yeah, they're cool. I've never seen them available though. Fourth and star, they will be perfect size for sling enclosures. Yeah, that's what I was kind of thinking. Mine haven't shown color yet, but my friend's has started to because hers had babies a little bit before mine. Any advice on convincing my boyfriend to let me get a trapdoor spider? He just doesn't want a pet spider in the house. I made a video about it, but um, just briefly, I would just I don't know, like educate and like be very gentle and respectful about it. 
Have you ever thought about getting any of the fancier jumping spiders, like the purple and gold one? That message disappeared. I would definitely be open to many different jumping spiders. It's just all about what is available. What mantis would you recommend or what's your favorite? The dead leaf mantis is my favorite. I have um, ghost mantis, but my dead leaf mantis, and, and she can hear us right now, so I don't want to like be mean, but I really like the dead leaf mantis because they get a lot bigger. What editing app? Just iMovie. Oh, I just use iMovie. We're not too fancy. Yeah, dude, I feel like some jumpers. They need to get a little bit bigger, but I feel like that's what these could be used for. What's my favorite tarantula? I get asked this so much and I can never give a straight answer. Were you planning to get another Ace of Money at all? I actually have three. I have a pair and I have a sling. Um... Will you one day get a tea Celadonia? I don't know. I like uh, with things up in the air about the legality. I'm just, I don't know. I don't know. All right, that's it. We did it. So yeah, we're pretty good. Let's see. We have all, all these, and then all those. So we have a lot of rehousings to do. Hi from Kentucky. Glad to be on your live. You got me into teas and now I have 16. Oh, I'm so sorry about that. <laughs> um, what's your favorite amphibians? That's hard. I don't know if I can pick. How many tattoos? I don't know. Do you suggest chapter spiders as a beginner species? I mean, yeah, I, I don't see why not. But you will never see them. So keep that in mind. If you want something that you're not going to get bored of, I definitely wouldn't recommend them. But if you're okay with like never seeing them for the most part, then yeah, go for it. <laughs> Um, hi from Serbia. That's, I think that's where Pekko had to, has to travel to like get to like an airport or something. I feel like he did or something. Um, I love Amazon milk frogs. I don't, I'm not that familiar. Um, how many reptiles do you have? I have a bearded dragon, crested gecko, three rosy boas, two corn snakes, a ball python. And I guess frogs and stuff don't count as reptiles, right? <laughs> Can you show your jumping spider? Um, so Chai is hiding. She's um, a little busy. She's got her hands full. And then um, the babies over there, they're all super duper tiny, but I will update. Will you be doing any more velvet spider videos? Yeah, I think we will be doing some more velvet spider videos next week. Oh, the chat started moving fast. Um, have you ever thought about getting land snails? I don't know about the legalities of them here. I feel like they're they're not legal here. Um, I bought an OBT as a first tarantula. I didn't do my research. Any tips? Just be careful. Um, if you feel like you can't handle it, like that's okay. Like you can definitely find it a different home. But if you if you do your research and you feel like confident with it, like go for it. Just be really careful because they're fast. Greetings from Greece. What zoo animal would you love to have as a pet? Also love your videos. I don't know, probably some kind of bird. Would you do a reptile collection video? Reptile only? I will be doing an all my pets video at some point. So I will be showing all of them. Um, do you want to get an albino snow corn spider? Do you like them? Ooh, I don't know what that is, but when you say albino snor snow corn, corn I feel like a corn snake for some reason which I do like the the snow corn snake if that's what you're talking about favorite book recently oh I don't know I haven't really been reading as much as I'd like what countries can you get silk spiders in or from I I don't know um like velvet spiders because um it, like if you're in the United States it has to come from a vendor in the United States I love your channel thank you Will you have any more kids? I've got two. Probably not. I think we're good with just one. What's your most exotic spider? Oh, these are hard questions today. I don't know. <laughs> um, I just joined. Are we going to see spiders? Nope. I just unboxed these and I'm actually probably going to hop off here in a couple minutes because I just wanted to jump on and say hi. I wanted to upload a video today, but I got put a little behind. I was going to film yesterday for obvious reasons. I didn't feel like filming yesterday. So I just filmed today and I'll hopefully have that up for tomorrow and then I'm filming again Wednesday and then Friday and so have you ever been bitten by one of your spiders no I have not 
Um, where do you get these tanks? So these are tarantula cribs and um, they have a website. It's like tarantulacribs.com. It should, actually it'll be linked down below. And yeah, so they make acrylic um, tarantula enclosures, which they're really nice, they're really thick and I really like them. So I've been kind of transitioning all my spiders into them as they come. Um, but if you do order and you wanna save 10%, use my affiliate code, it's cat10, you save 10% and it helps me. Do you buy any amphibians? Do you keep any amphibians? I have two toads, two different kinds of toads, and a magic frog. Have you ever gotten a pet you regretted? No, I don't think so. Do you want to get a new frog? No? Oh wait, oh, sorry, the chat moves like so fast. Um, greetings from Belgium, hello. What is a magic frog? Magic frog is my tomato frog. Sorry, I forget. Um, do you want the lava spider? I've never seen one. What is it? I'll look it up really quick. When I when I hear lava spider, it reminds me of that lava snail or that snail that lives on volcanoes. Lava spider. What is this? <laughs> what is this real? Lava spiders are monsters found within the, what is this? No. It's from RuneScape? Oh my god. Oh my god. I haven't played RuneScape in forever. <laughs> oh my god. I, oh wow, it's been a minute. What do you feed Hypnotoad? Superworms, mostly, and um, crickets, if I'm feeling really lazy and I just want to throw them in. <laughs> uh, oh my god, I'm so afraid of spiders, but you got me wanting to get a tarantula. You do it! <laughs> Oh, it's a real thing. Lava spider is a real thing. I, I see one of Tom Moran's videos popping up. This thing. Thera Fosinae species Panama. Wow. <laughs> yeah, all I see is mostly RuneScape stuff and then stuff from Tom Moran. If you were to get a new tarantula right now, what would it be? I don't know, but I'm getting a new one Wednesday and I have no idea what it is. My friend is sending me it and she told me I need a terrestrial enclosure, which is perfect because I just got some more. <laughs> if you want to choose between a jumping spider and a velvet spider, who would you choose? I don't know. Um, I made a whole video about that though. Kat, I was afraid of spiders and your videos have helped me so much. Yay, you got an avicularia, avicularia sling, good luck. Um, get a Singapore blue. I don't know about that. I don't know. I like the nice ones. I like the nice slow ones. Like I have some old worlds, but uh, you insult me with RuneScape. What is, I, I loved RuneScape. I played that so much. And in fact, I even played it recently. Um, if you didn't know, Exotic Slayer plays RuneScape too. And like when we first met, we played RuneScape together all the time. And he is rich AF in that game. Like he is super duper rich. In order to get like a membership, like you, you can pay in like gold coins that you earn in the game. And he like didn't even have to pay real money for memberships. And he would just like be like, get a membership. And then we play and he would show me all this cool stuff because I never was a member when I was a, when I was a kid and playing it. So I literally loved RuneScape and I still like remember my login and everything. <laughs> my golden knee hates me so much. My, um, Grimmastola poker piece she literally ripped the tongs out of my hand one day it was completely unexpected <laughs> what's the most expensive tarantula you got oh I don't know have you ever had a tarantula get loose and you haven't been able to find no that's never happened how did you meet exotic Lair? we met in on Facebook well first he commented on one of my videos and then I looked at his channel and I saw like he had like a lot of videos at the time but um, yeah, and then we somehow like ran into each other on Facebook. Um, will you ever get an Amazon milk frog? Okay, I don't know what that is, but I'll look it up really quick. Amazon milk frog. Oh, it's so cute. Oh my god, does it have a blue mouth? It looks like it has a blue mouth. Why is that so cute? It has like a little blue mouth. That's so cool. Um, you should get some snails. I <laughs> I don't know if you can keep them here. I really am not sure. What is the best non-tarantula beginner spider? Jumping spiders for sure. Their blood is blue? Really? That's crazy. I didn't, I've never heard of them, but I'm definitely intrigued. 
By the way, my girlfriend's name is Kat and she loves your videos. Yay, Kat twins. <laughs> um, the, how much do tarantulas cost in the enclosure and everything? It really depends. It's so dependent on species. Do you like blue death veining beetles and would you get, get them? I think that's what you asked. Um, probably like I do like them, but I probably wouldn't keep them because I just don't really have that much of an interest. They're venomous. The frogs are venomous. Is that what we're talking about? I have two Gramistola grossa slings and one pretends to be arboreal. They are always upside down hanging from the lid. I have a couple terrestrials like that too. How do you know which species can be handled and which you can't? So I have like some of the same species that like I wouldn't handle. Like I'll have like, say I have like two curly hairs. I'd handle this one, but I wouldn't handle that one because like just how they act behaviorally like with me. <laughs> um, you said you have a ball python. If you're interested in more snakes, go for a Kenyan sand boa. Mine hates my guts, but he's adorable. I almost got one before, but it would have been an impulse purchase. So I did not get the Kenyan sand boa. However, I do love them. They are very cute. I do have three rosy boas though. They're pretty similar. <laughs> I see you guys all asking that same question. I'm not answering. <laughs> Nothing. Oh, whoops. Um, you got some Dumbo rats. Oh, whoa. Did I accidentally scroll up? No, there it is. Okay. I got some Dumbo rats that are very nice and calm, but the funny thing is that I left them in a very big cage and one escaped. Oh, I've had my hamster escaped. I talked about that once. One, one of them escaped into the closet for a whole day and then I got bit really bad trying to get her out. Um, if you want to get a Mexican king snake, I want to get a Mexican king snake for my girlfriend, but the cost skyrocketed. Yeah, I actually, um, for Ouija, I actually got a really good deal. Um, so I mean, you just keep looking. Um, I have allergies to pretty much every animal and lots of different things send me to emergency. Um, so what tarantula would be a good start? I don't know. I don't want to say something and then have it not be okay. But, um, if you're really sensitive to like urticating hairs, then I think an old world would be better, but then you have to deal with the fact that their venom is stronger. So it's like kind of, I don't know. It really depends. <laughs> had to catch me at work. Sorry. I don't normally stream this early, but I just feel like bad because I, I like to post like a little bit more consistently, but I didn't film anything yesterday like I wanted. So I thought I would hop on. Um, Amazon milk frogs are called that because they secrete a milky substance from their skin, but it's not going to do that in captivity. Yeah. I, I know that all of the, like my toad, both my toads and my frog, they're supposed to secrete something when they're like threatened or whatever. So I guess they all probably do it to some extent. Do you think a 40 gallon breeder is too large for a Pamphibedius altamarinus female? I think that is very excessive, but if you want to do that, if that's your one spy, your one and only spider and you want to go all out, dude, go for it. It'd be awesome. But yeah, it's pretty excessive. <laughs> Hello from Denmark. Um, I need a chat mod. Oh, great. Okay. Well, I'm actually going to hop off anyway. Um, but it was nice talking to you guys and, uh, hopefully I'll have this video done for you tomorrow. So, um, yeah. Okay. I will see you guys soon. Thank you so much for stopping in.